Welcome to Anaheim's 2020 Veterans Day celebration. As with all things 2020, this event is different this year. But our commitment to Anaheim's veterans is as strong as ever. We are celebrating Anaheim's veterans and all who served with this video tribute. We look forward to bringing our veterans and families together again once it is safe to do so. For now, please join us as the Anaheim Police Honor Guard presents the colors. It's a long-standing military tradition of honoring our flag. It will be followed by the symbolic laying of a wreath to honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Present Hoops. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets had left our arms bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled Welcome to our 2020 Veterans Day celebration. Anaheim is proud to be a home to more than 10,000 veterans. Your legacy is one of our city's greatest treasures. You are why we can hold our heads high as Americans. From World War II, Korea and Vietnam, to Africa, the Middle East and Afghanistan. Our veterans have fought for what is right. Yet, for all of you have done, you have achieved so much more. You have made America a light of hope for the world. As someone who has made America my home, I say thank you. And I know so many others join me in sharing their thanks. I came here from India in 1974. I had six dollars in my pocket. I worked my way through college as a janitor. Why would someone leave home and start over in a new country? The American dream. It is the belief that with freedom, you have the chance to work hard and see success and prosperity. It is what you have fought for, for on behalf of so many. I um, proudly became an American citizen in 1979. I went on to give back to my new country as an aerospace engineer. Today, I'm Anaheim's first immigrant mayor in modern times. Veterans made that possible. I have lived the American dream because you fought for the American dream. In Anaheim, we always honor our veterans and those serving. Anaheim Veterans Monuments recognize those who serve in the wars of 20th century. And for our future veterans, our city recognizes 
active service men and women with banners across our city. As we honor our veterans in 2020, please join me in looking forward to 2021. That is when we look to join together again. I want to thank everyone for their sacrifice as we fight coronavirus. As we do, we draw inspiration from our veterans. We have shown us that with bravery and dedication, America can overcome any challenge. Today, we say thank you and honor your service. On behalf of all of Anaheim, thank you and God bless. As is our custom here in Anaheim, we'll celebrate the 245th birthday of the Marine Corps. Our city is proud to support the incredible men, women, and families of our adopted 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit based at Camp Pendleton. In years past, they've joined us for a ceremonial cake cutting that recognizes the oldest and youngest Marines in attendance. Now, since we can't all be together this year, we'll share with you a few clips from previous cake cuttings. Traditionally, as you know, the 13th Mew joins us to cut the cake in celebration of the inception of our illustrious Corps. The first piece is then given to the oldest and youngest Marine present, symbolizing the experience and the youthful spirit that are hallmarks of our Corps. The passing of the cake from the oldest to the youngest Marine symbolizes the passing of history and traditions to the next generation. from Kuwait. I'm Colonel Drew Pretty, the commanding officer of the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit. And although we're forward deployed to the Middle East, Sergeant Major Glass and I wanted to take a minute and thank all of our veterans and the city of Anaheim for your tremendous support to our great country and to your communities. The hallmark of United States service members are teamwork and selflessness, instilled in them and recruit training. Today, your men and women are deployed in nine countries throughout the Middle East, demonstrating the highest level of military professionalism and proficiency. I'm proud and grateful to be serving forward with those Marines and continue the long legacy that has gone before us. The 10th of November also marks the 245th birthday of the United States Marine Corps. Since 1775, Marines have been winning the nation's battles in the air, on land, and at sea as the finest fighting force the world has ever known. On behalf of the 13th Mew and the Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force Crisis Response for Central Command, we want to thank all of our veterans and wish all of, them, all of our Marines happy birthday. Semper Fidelis. A longtime champion of Anaheim's Veterans Day ceremony, Councilmember Lucille Kring is here to say a few words. Even though our ceremony looks different this year, I'm grateful that we still found a way to come together for this important event. Honoring our veterans and those now serving is one of the most important things we can do as a city. The saying is so true, freedom is not free. The men and women of our military put their lives on the line to keep us free. And their families make a great sacrifice too. Sadly, some don't make it back home. Others suffer from lifelong disabilities or mental health struggles. But they do what they do because they love America. Their commitment shows a courage and strength that not all of us can make. I am in all of them. That's why I have so much respect and admiration for our veterans. 
Anything we can do to honor them, even in a small way, it is the least that we can do. When I started this event more than a decade ago, it was small. It was our humble way of honoring Anaheim servicemen and women. Now it has become something so much bigger. And I'm proud to say our community looks forward to it every year. This event has always been important to me because of my family's deep connection to military service and my compassion for military families. My father was one of five Philadelphia brothers who served during World War II. My dad was an infantryman who served in Italy and then shipped out to Japan only to turn around after the atomic bombings. My uncle was a gunner who flew with Clark Gable in the Army Air Force. He was also a tailor. When someone in his unit was getting married, he actually made the bride's dress from a parachute. My husband, Ron's father, enlisted in the Army during the Korean War. He served as an interpreter of photos from area reconnaissance missions. It has been my honor to serve as chairwoman of this event for more than a decade. Sadly, this is my last term on the City Council, but I know that future Anaheim leaders will continue this great tradition for years to come. And when we gather together again, I will be on hand to show my continued support of our veterans because this is a cause that is so near and dear to my heart. So thank you to everyone who has helped this ceremony grow and most importantly, to those who make the ultimate sacrifice to protect our freedom. And this year as we honor our veterans, I challenge you to do a little bit more. We're all facing hard times amid the coronavirus crisis, especially our seniors and veterans. If you can, I invite you to make a donation to a veterans charity that means something to you. But if you can't donate, find another way to help. It could be as simple as checking on an elderly neighbor or sending a card to a veteran you know or go to a veterans hospital. Holidays can be very, very lonely when we are alone. We will all get through this by coming together and supporting one another. Thank you, may God bless you, and may God bless America. This is the point in our traditional Veterans Day ceremony where we would recognize our veterans in attendance with the singing of the Armed Forces Medley. In typical 2020 all things virtual fashion, we'll reflect back on years past with the Esperanza High School Concert Choir's performance of the medley while we share photos of Anaheim veterans that have been sent to us in recent weeks. Army goes rolling along. Then it's high, high, hey, the 
past year has been anything but ordinary and a challenge for us all in many ways. One thing that has stood true is Anaheim's commitment to you. It has been and continues to be an honor providing exceptional experiences and high-class services to Anaheim's veterans, residents, businesses, and visitors. As we conclude our 2020 Virtual Veterans Day celebration, please enjoy photos and footage of our veterans from over the years one last time. Country. This is my country. My